So, Miss Fine, do you have anything to say? Uh, you missed the belt loop? <laughs> oh, Mr. Sheffield, why are you saying anything? You're scaring me. I like it better when you yell and scream. Please, let it out. That's right, Maxwell, let it out. Let's not forget who's responsible for all of this. Your dog. That's right. <laughs> So, Miss Fine, what, what would you like me to say, hmm? I mean, my film career's over before it began. Oh, let's not be naysayers. He ate the bloody star! All right, now you're back with me. And it is your fault. You were responsible for that fur-covered colon. I knew you'd find a way to blame this on me. Yes, she did, sir. But I've got a plan. Yes, she does, sir. And, as you know, my plans never fail. <laughs> Hi, Lash. Hi, Clue. Oh, oh, God, are you insane? Mr. Sheffield, trust me, I once accidentally destroyed my father's toupee and I made an exact replica out of the toilet seat cover. That looked real? Yeah, plus he matched the towels. That's all right, Miss Lewis, I'll get it for you. Incoming. Thank you very much, Niles. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Didn't you see me? What's your point? Hi, Shari. We were just sitting around here talking with Lamb Chop. <laughs> you know, I gave her a makeover. Make her hair a little higher to balance out the mutton thighs. <laughs> what have you done with her? This is my Lamb Chop. I think she's got a refreshing, earthy quality. Fran Chop. Sherry, I'm afraid we owe you a bit of an explanation. You think? Oh, Miss Lewis, you really shouldn't be angry at Mr. Sheffield. The truth of the matter is, her dog ate Lamb Chop. You know, Sherry, the lamb was holding you back. <laughs> You're better off without her. She told me she was seeing another hand. 